For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. Tell a mess. Come them move like a disco. One nick to the left. Fine, babe. Ah, I'm so happy to bring this updated, perfect beginner friendly tutorial. Now, is the tutorial beginner friendly? Maybe not. We'll have to attend this class multiple times, but it is your girl, Sophiology, also known as Sophia the Fine Babe. And this color is calling your name, it's saying, Come here. Learn it now in this tutorial or show this to your stylist, either or. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, babe, here we go. Here's everything you'll need. Don't panic, I'm right here with you. Let's get started. First things first, you'll need some bleach and developer. I have a 40 and 30 volume, and any brand you use is fine, but I highly recommend this brand of developer since we're going from black to blonde so quickly today. And then I have some T18 Color Charm Toner in three boxes of those. And then I have my shampoo and conditioner, and any brand you use is perfectly fine. Now we have all of our utensils and tools. Let's break this down because it's a lot. All right, so a black mannequin head. I have my regular canvas one, but I also have this black one and you'll see why. A bunch of bowls to dye the hair, of course, and a brush and comb you don't care about anymore. Then we have gloves, a lot of aluminum foil, okay? And a number of hair ties, a good amount. I got a fresh pack just so I don't run out. And then measuring cups, a fourth cup and a full cup. And of course, some trash bags to protect the floor. I used about two. And then the star of the show, the dye. These are the boxes of dye I'll be using. Anything that says medium brown or dark ash, medium ash blonde is fine. But if you can find these boxes, then perfect. Finally, some clothes you don't care about at all because they're gonna get ruined though. It's impossible to stay neat during this process. So here is my outfit for the day. I bet go, don't mind me. I did not go to salon high school. I don't even know where this shirt came from. Step one, let's prepare this hair. So if you've watched my hair coloring tutorials before, this is not new to you, boo. You are a sociology PhD graduate. But if you're new here, let me show you how I prep my hair for any color. First of all, I like to separate the frontal or closure from the rest of the wig as I'll be dyeing everything into sections. So I'm using a comb to part the frontal from the wig and then a hair tie to secure that together. Then I'm gonna go in track by track and separate the hair into sections. I'm probably going three or four tracks at a time. It really depends on how thick and full your wig is. This wig is four bundles and a frontal. The hair is also pretty full. So so I would consider these to be big sections. This will make the coloring process super easy. So I highly recommend doing this beginner or not. Why wouldn't you want life to be soft and easy? <laughs> this is how it should look when you're done. And then we're ready to get started. Don't be nervous, girl. You got this. You'll see step by step. You'll make it through and then throw that trash bag on the floor and let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're gonna mix the bleach and developer first. I'm trying to go for a thick yet, you know, pasty consistency. I would compare it to yogurt, okay? That's the consistency that you want. I'm not measuring anything, you know why? Because we're gonna end up using about this whole tub of bleach throughout this process, okay? So we're just gonna be mixing in batches and making a lot at a time. Bleach is the most powerful once you mix it, which is why I'm going in batches. Now, once that's mixed, we're gonna start at the front. We're starting here because these are the parts that I want to be the brightest on my wig, which is that money piece in the front. With my blondes, I like to have that patch highlight money piece in the front. So I'm parting that out first. I'm using my baby hairs as a guide. If your frontal is not customized already, just part it down the middle here and start somewhere an inch into the hairline. Now I'm making a triangle and using my baby hairs as a guide on where to stop that money piece. Once I have those separated just like this, I'm going to twist them to keep them separated and then use a clip to hold them in place. 
Now I'm taking any gel, okay? And I'm gonna use that on my baby hairs. If you don't have baby hairs, don't worry about this part and God bless you, you are so lucky. You're not like me who decides to color your hair after already getting it made, okay? But I'm just using this to protect my baby hairs from getting bleached. I do not want them bleached, so the gel is acting as a glue or a binder for the foil to stay on. Now say I had some T-pins, life would be easy i could have used the t-pins to keep that foil pinned down but i didn't have any extra t-pins i was all out so the gel and the foil is what i'm using but if you have t-pins please use them i'm going to bring out that money piece and we are gonna bleach it i have my bleach right next to me so i don't have to be reaching back and forth and i can just be applying it right here taking a hefty amount i'm going to use my hands to apply it now everybody's different if a brush works for you, use a brush. But if your hands work for you like me, use your hands. I love using my hands. First, I work the bleach on there, and then I put the foil underneath to just you know act as a barrier so the bleach doesn't go everywhere and make a mess. And then I'm gonna go in with my fingers in between to make sure it's saturated meaning soaked in that bleach. I would hate to miss any spots and be seeing dark pieces or black hair. That'll be a nightmare. So once it's soaked or saturated, I fold it over and we move on to the frontal. Now here, using my hands again, see why I need that T-pin? <laughs> that thing should not disturb me. Oh. Please, oh, use a T-pin. I'm taking that bleach and I'm applying it about an inch away from the root and I'm gonna do that in sections up the frontal as you can see. Now for that highlight, low light look, you wanna add the bleach higher and lower in different areas. So I went an inch away last time. This is about four to five inches maybe this time. And it's a little closer in the front. Do you notice it? I'm a visual person, so I hope you're catching, but you'll get it as you keep watching. Maybe with this tutorial, you'll watch it and then when it's time for you to do it, you'll play it while you do it. But as you can see, I'm going on different levels. I went an inch away at first, but here I'm going like four inches down with the bleach. This is to give that ombre de balayage effect. I'm not a professional, by the way, so please, if you are, ignore the words I'm using. Do not call me out here. Just let me do what I do, okay? I'm very self-taught homemade. Now I'm doing the same thing to the other side. I'm taking that bleach and doing it about an inch up, using the foil to just keep it away and then continuing up. And then when I get here, we're not doing an inch, we're doing about four to five inches up. Whoops. And then we are good. Are we good? Now I'm gonna take some foil and just, I want foil happy, it's starting to look like an astronaut. <laughs> mind you, mind you, before I forget to mention, it was like 2 a.m., so don't mind the madness, okay? I'm taking a couple tracks at the top and I'm bleaching this right now because this is the hair that will show right under the frontal and I want it to match just like the frontal. So bleaching it at the same time will ensure that it colors at the same time and has the exact same lift. Got it? All right, great. Astronaut foil. <laughs> now it's time to move on to the rest of the wig and to bleach as usual. So starting from bottom to top, I'm applying the bleach. Notice that I'm not doing it in a harsh line. I'm trying to have a blend because I hate seeing patchy lines with the bleach. I know you guys noticed that I had highlights and lowlights all throughout the wig, so I'll show you exactly how I achieved that. I'm gonna take foil and cover that up and then move on to the next section. Now, how I achieved the highlights and lowlights and different levels through the wig was these sections. These sections help me to know where to do something different and get creative, have fun with it. So right here, you can see where I stopped and left the hair black and I'm folding it away. But when I get to this section here, pay attention to how high I brought that bleach. That part is gonna be so blonde and light while the underneath is going to be darker, which creates that highlighted effect that I love. Okay, so on each section, if you do it in different levels, you are guaranteed to have that look. So since the underneath is very, very blonde, this time I'm gonna keep the bleach low. And I'm also doing it in the shape of a V, as you can see. I'm also playing it in regular speed now, so you can see how I'm moving my hands so that there's no straight or harsh line. And then I fold it away. 
The point of the foil is so that these sections do not interact. I don't want bleach where I did not intend for it to go, which is what the foil helps to do. Also, foil kind of traps heat, so it helps to process the hair faster too. By the way, before I forget to mention, this tutorial does a lot to your hair. Make sure you are using raw or virgin hair. This is not going to work on synthetic or blended hair or pre-colored hair. Make sure it is raw, virgin, and fresh and new. Thanks. Finally, we are at the top, making sure there are no strands left behind and then making it into an astronaut. <laughs> now, as you can see, this is the first level that I bleached in the beginning. That shows you how long it took me to get to the top. And look how light that got. This is exactly what I wanna see on a round one bleaching. We are going from black to a high blonde, so that is very, very good to see. I'm gonna let that process, and then in about 40 minutes, I come back to wash it out. Guys, when I took off the frontal, I noticed that it did not lighten too much compared to the rest of the hair. That frontal, I'm gonna let you know right now, spoiler alert, it was trash. So I continued for the point of this video and the fact that I was traveling and needed this wig done, but as soon as I could, I replaced that frontal so quickly. But this is what it should look like after round one bleaching. We are now going into round two. This is when you're gonna achieve the lightest blonde that you can get with that bleach. So this is how everything looks. As you can see, my baby hairs are fine. They did not bleach like crazy, which is good. But if I had T-pins, it would have been perfect. This time I'm trying paper towel to see if it works better than the foil. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. T-pins would have just been the solution, but hey, trial and error, we're learning together. We're gonna try that. I've separated the hair into sections again, just like we did the first time. And guess what? There's good news. This is gonna be so much easier this time because everything's already bleached. You just have to go back and do the same exact thing on top of those sections again. And now you know exactly where to stop because you know it's already bleached the first time. So I'm just going in and applying the bleach right on top of the areas that I bleached before. The goal is to get that high yellow, okay? Frontal is done and packed away. See, less foil that time. Now I'm going to bleach per usual, starting from bottom to top, just like we did. And like I said, this time is gonna be easier, babe. All you're doing is going over what you did the first time. And we're trying to go for a high yellow. It was honestly during round two bleaching that I realized I am in the middle of it. Like you are in my position right now, your hair is already yellow and orange. You have to finish at this point, but gratefully I got my mojo. Look at how neat those sections are and how much less foil I'm using. I finally got the hang of it. I haven't done this color since probably December, 2022, when I went to Lagos for Dirty December, or Dirty December, sorry. <laughs> my American accent was taking over. But yeah, like, I finally got the hang of it and got into the groove of things, which I hope you are too. You've come too far to give up now, right? But once we have bleached everything, and that looks all good, I've sealed everything in bleach, everything is processing. Tell me why after letting it bleach, the frontal is not getting lighter. It's looking red, it's looking stupid. Spoiler alert, I wasted $300 on this frontal and I'm not happy with D-Hair Boutique. Ah, I bought this frontal in Houston. I needed it at the last minute, spent $300. Not only was it thin and stupid, but it wasn't bleaching correctly. Make it make sense. It's supposed to be giving raw hair, what's not? But anyway, you have now made it all. Once you see that high yellow, congratulations, you have passed. Now you can start painting the black parts. Now, if you did this correctly, you should have enough of that Greek yogurt textured bleach to spread to the rest of your wig. So I'm using my hands and a brush here and there to start using that excess bleach and spreading it. Rather than mixing new bleach and wasting more product and it being too potent, why not just use the bleach that's already on the hair? This is going to take that black up to like a brown, which is what we need it to be for the final achieved look, okay? So I'm bleaching that all the way through. 
making sure to rub every single layer and not miss any spots, which is muy importante. And then, you know, going through. So it should look just like this. Like I said, I'm a visual person, so I hope this is helping you. If you feel like a mess, you're doing the right thing. We're on the same page, sis. But yes, once it gets to here, you are completely done bleaching. And we thank the Lord. Oh, by the way, I had extra bundles that I wanted to add because even though it's already four bundles on the front, so I needed to be mad thick. So I'm gonna bleach those two. And then I'm going to wash this wig out. I forgot to mention the first time I washed the hair, I did not use shampoo because what's the point? But now that I'm done bleaching, we are free to use shampoo and to get all that bleach out, okay? So I'm shampooing the hair well, well until the water runs clear. I'm so serious, babe. Please make sure you wash that bleach out of the cap, of the tracks, everything. There should not be an atom of bleach in this wig because even if you do everything perfectly from here on out, any bleach left behind will ruin the final results. Okay, so now I'm taking Shimmer Lights conditioner. Honestly, purple shampoo or conditioner does not matter right now because we're using that toner, but this is a good product to have to maintain your blonde wigs. Over time with the sun and oxidizing and heat and just age, your wig can lose its ash and its blonde. So that shimmer lights will just keep it maintained over time. I'm also taking some conditioner now by Tresemme as well. And if I had the luxury of time, I would have let that conditioner sit for some hours and wash it out. But because I needed this wig done ASAP, I only left it in for 20 minutes and washed it out. This is going to just help give the hair a break from all that processing of chemicals, you get me. But luckily my hair was not fried, it was just fine. 2.51 in the morning is crazy to be coloring hair, but just one more step before I go to bed and call it a day until maybe the morning. And that is toning! Toning, 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 toning. Yay, this part is easy. Once you get here with your 20 volume developer, which I forgot to show you in the beginning, you're gonna follow the easy directions which says to leave it on for 30 minutes and to mix two parts developer with one part toner. So let's make it simple in sociology class, okay? We're gonna mix one fourth cup of the toner to two fourths cup of the developer. So I have three bottles, which means we're gonna have six of those cups of the developer. See? Easy math. So here goes the third bottle I'm pouring in now. I'm gonna take that measuring cup, and I didn't have a fourth measuring cup, guys. I didn't have one fourth, I only had one third. So I'm not gonna fill it up all the way. I'm gonna fill it up, mm, that was all the way. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna just fill it up six times, and I'm gonna mix that together, and that will make the combination that I need. Now, when I got to the fifth time, my bowl got pretty full, awkward. And I was too lazy to switch bowls. So I mixed that some before finally adding in the last cup. And that is three to six, which is what the directions called for. I mixed that together. And honestly, do you need three boxes? No, you don't. I'd rather just be safe than sorry than to be in the middle of this process and have to run to Sally's when they open. Hell no. Excuse my French. So yeah, once that's done, I prep my sink, which I'm using as a bowl. I just put a trash bag in it. And then I put the hair in there and I'm going to pour the toner. If you are a professional watching this, leave me alone, Jare. <laughs> as long as the job gets done and the hair is beautiful, it doesn't matter how it happened. If you're not a ras girl like me, you can paint it on, but me, it does the same thing. I'd rather just get it over with and just pour it all over the hair, okay? Okay, <laughs> so I'm just making sure that product gets through the hair as well as the extra bundles that I bleached, which came out bright and perfect. Everything is giving yellow in the words of Rema, and I'm happy about that. I'm gonna leave that to process, and as you can tell, every 10, 10 minutes, it just becomes more and more purple. See, look at magic in three, two, one. No, in three, two, one. <laughs> okay, in three, two, one. See, do you notice the purple? It's more purple this time. So now it is time to wash out after 30 minutes. I'm going to wash that out. And even though I didn't record it or edit it in, just for the length of this video, not to be too long, shampoo it thoroughly again. Get all the toner out. It is now time to color, baby girl. 
This is personally my favorite part. Here are some helpful tips, okay? As you can see, I had plenty of boxes of dye, but I'm only going to mix two boxes of each color at a time. While I'm dyeing, I'll keep opening boxes and mixing more. But the reason is these dyes get weak once they're mixed and sat, and you don't want no weak hair dye. You want it to be potent and strong, so only mix two boxes at a time. Also, you can notice that my bowls are two different colors. I'm mixing the blonde color in the pink bowl, and I'm gonna mix the brown color in the purple bowl. This is so I can tell the difference while I'm coloring. Trust me, sis, during the process, you will not remember which is which because these dyes look exactly the same when mixed. What a nightmare it would be to place the wrong color in the wrong place. Ah! I can't imagine. So as you can see, my brushes match the bowls. This will make it super easy. By the way, rise and shine fine, babe. It is 7 a.m. for me. I let the hair air dry between 3 and 7 a.m. And then I used a blow dryer to make sure that it is completely dry. If anything is wet, your hair is not gonna come out right. Make sure it is dry. Don't let the heat of the blow dryer deceive you either. Please make sure it is completely dry so you don't have to go in again. Let this be a one and done. Let's get an A plus in this sophiology course, okay? I'm now going to section the hair just like I did to bleach it, starting from bottom to top. And now we are gonna start coloring. Now these sections are a lot smaller. When I bleached it, it could be thick, but with the dyeing process, you want these sections to be very, very thin and small so you can pay attention to how you're placing the color and be very specific with it, okay? See how there's so many more sections this time? You want to not be stingy with this dye. You want each section to be completely soaked. So many times in my past blonde tutorials, there were orange patches and I had to go twice. This time I did not. And it was because everything was saturated and covered and well soaked in that dye. The only thing you don't want soaked is the frontal because then it'll get all over the lace, right? But don't worry, you have a good teacher by your side, babe. I'm going to take some T-pins and secure that frontal. Now, to take the pressure off, mm? have fun with it, I beg. Pretend this is a client who has a very bad frontal that costs $300 and is balding and looking stupid. Anyway, say you're not like me and you didn't get this wig customized yet, looking crazy, and your frontal is fresh and new, you don't have to worry about the baby hairs, okay? Now, say you are like me and you're using a used wig, then good thing I'm doing this in this tutorial for you because you'll know what to do. But if you don't have baby hairs or anything cut, just comb all the hair back. Spray got to be glued regardless. Any type of lace spray you have, Eben got to be glued, it's okay. Spray it, this will help protect the lace. It won't stop the dye from getting through, but it will help protect from minor mistakes, okay? Now I'm gonna comb all the hair back, except for the baby hairs. Ignore that if you don't have them. And we're gonna take out that money piece. Go ahead and find her, section her out, and get her reserved away. I'm going to take that got to be glued spray again and just spray anywhere I'm seeing lace. Like I said, it won't stop the hair dye, but it will help prevent, okay? Now I'm going to start at the side of the frontal and first taking that ash blonde color with my hand, I'm going to soak that hair in the ash blonde. Only the blonde part though, only the yellow part. Now the good thing about the toner is that anything that turned orange, that means it's not supposed to be covered in that blonde. That blonde dye will not fix that orange. The only thing to cover the orange is the dark brown hair dye. So after putting the ash blonde on, I'm going to use the brown to not only fix the roots, but also cover that orange. I do not want to see orange in your hair. Do not tag me if there's any orange in your hair, I beg. I'm teaching you how to get rid of it, okay? So take the brown and make sure you cover that orange. I'm gonna show you again and again, so don't worry. As you can see, I'm covering the blonde in that ash blonde hair dye. And then once it starts looking a little brassy and orange, I'm gonna take that dark brown with my hands and start to put it on. Now you can use a brush, you can use your hands, use whatever feels natural and comfortable to you. Me, I like to use my fingers and hands. It's the most precise, okay? Just like when it comes to makeup and beauty blenders and brushes, everybody's different. Find what works for you. Now tip to not getting the dye on the lace. Number one, foil to separate these sections. 
the hair will become heavy because of the liquid you don't want it to weigh down on the frontal the foil helps to separate the colors it helps to process the hair but it also helps to keep the hair up and you'll see i'm more of a visual person i hate explaining things but i'm trying my best <laughs> so taking that blonde i'm putting it on the bright piece and then i'm going to take the dark brown and start at the root a little bit away from the root and then cover that orange completely you see that now it actually becomes easier the more that the dye sits because the dye does change color you will start to see it change and get dark and you will actually physically be able to see you cover it okay so if you want to give it like three minutes you can do that but i know what i'm doing so yeah but anyway when it comes to that lace yeah do you notice that I'm not putting product near the root? There's no need. It will naturally go to the root. The only way you really mess up and get dye all over your lace is too much product. So the frontal is the only place where you don't want to have too much product, but you want to have enough to where nothing is left behind. Okay? So I did not fast forward this part just so that you can feel comfortable and watch me do it over and over i'm putting the blonde dye first and then the brown mind you the gloves get dirty so that towel that i showed you to have in the beginning a dark towel you don't care about be using it to wipe your hands clean before you use the blonde dye you don't want these dyes to mix okay as you can see there's nothing on the lace so far we're doing pretty good hopefully when you're bleaching your roots did not mess up um mine didn't too bad so you know it was okay um you're gonna go section by section so now i'm gonna fast forward hopefully you have the hang by now you're gonna just keep repeating that process all the way up the frontal putting the blonde where it's blonde and putting the brown where it's brown and orange and that will give you that ashy look make sure to connect the colors as well you want to mix them you want to um let them blend together you don't want it to be any harsh lines so as you can see I use the brown to mesh into the blonde so that it's a nice even blend. And I actually love this angle because you're able to see how I'm working not to get it on the lace. Do you see that? How I'm pulling it away, pulling it back, combing it back, not putting too much dye near the root. That is exactly how you do it. And don't worry if you make mistakes, makeup can cover that, but the goal is just to not, right? And just like that, we got all the way up the front. So now it's time for that money piece. She's going to be mostly blonde. So taking that blonde, I'm just gonna soak all of that hair in the blonde dye. Now I will say, if you feel bold and brave, which you should, cause you're with me, we're gonna do the roots. This part looks good, but in the front, the bleach kind of took over. So I need to fix it. Just put a little product, okay? and you should have no problems with it getting, not getting on the lace. I'm using a little product here and just using it to root it a little bit. Spraying a little spray just to protect it. But as you can see, I'm getting those roots at a good color. Some people don't like their money piece to have roots, but I do. So there we go. And I'm combing it away from the lace, okay? I'm keeping that hair up. I'm not letting it fall at all. What's gonna help also is how I place the foil. Notice that I'm not folding it downward, I'm folding it away from the lace, facing back. And then we're done with the frontal. I think, no, I have edges. If you don't have edges, you're done. But as for me and my fellow baby hair queens, used wig goddesses, <laughs> we gotta do the baby hairs, okay? Because in the I believe they probably got bleached or toned or whatever. As you can see, this is why the black mannequin comes in handy. You can kind of see the stains from the past, it's just good to have a black mannequin head and it helps you see better. But this angle shows you how I'm able not to get dye on the lace, even though I'm coloring so closely to it. I apply the color to the mannequin head first to get the hair. And then I use my fingers and the comb to just carefully, carefully, carefully get that dye as close as I can to the root without touching the lace. It's very possible. And by the way, if I haven't said it enough, I'm so proud of you. To make it to this part, you've already won, my dear. You're already almost there. And I cannot wait to see this color on you.
And that completes the frontal. I did it first because it is the hardest and it takes the longest, but I promise you it is smooth sailing and so much fun from here. Every time I've said fun in this video, I lied. This is actually gonna be fun. I promise you, fun and easy. So I never started at the top, but like I said, I did these top tracks to match the frontal just so it has a seamless blend in the wig. So I'm doing this piece first. I'm going in with the ash blonde on the blonde and then the brown on the brown and foiling it away. At this very top, I focused here because all that orange needs to be covered. That's why I think you should never skip the toning process. It not only brings out the blondes and separates the highlights, but it also turns whatever is not blonde enough orange, just so that you can indicate where you need to put the brown. So this is a good section to show. I've put the blonde on and you can see the orange through it. That is not going to change with the blonde dye. There has to be very bright to accept that blonde dye. So that brown is going to be blended in right there. And the reason why I love box dye, not on our real hair, but on hair weaves and extensions is because it's so corrective and beginner friendly. It's not like permanent dyes or, you know, professional dyes that don't have a lot of forgiveness or leeway. Like these really help you with half the job and they do beautiful with blending. So yeah, that's just my reason if you were wondering and they last long, at least this brand. I stand by this brand for so many years now. But anyway, once I've made sure that all that brown is covered, there's no orange in sight, I now can dye as usual starting from top, I mean, sorry, bottom to top as I usually do. And guys, bear with me. I'm doing this voiceover at like midnight. I just came in from Phuket, Thailand. I am exhausted. So I appreciate you. I know this um, voiceover is not as sophisticated as I usually speak, but you can only be as sophisticated as possible at 11 p.m. I just wanted to make sure I stay on schedule and get this video out for you guys. And I hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this hard work. I said, God forbid I do this color this time and I don't record it. But oh, this is self-explanatory, but let me just explain it for my beginners. I'm just doing the same thing I did to the frontal. Basically putting the blonde, ooh, look at that section, so bright. Putting the blonde where it's blonde and putting the brown where it's brown and orange, making sure to blend it beautifully. But literally the hardest part of this process, I promise you, is the bleaching. Hey, I hate the bleaching process so bad. But once you get past that and you tone it, you are literally smooth sailing. You are on cruise control. You are a professional stylist, fine babe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just using a brush and my hands, I'm getting through each section, using the foil to separate another blonde section. I love that. Finally down to the last part. I'm brushing it through because the hair is thick. I don't want any missing pieces. I'm taking the last bit of my dye and putting that on and then making sure that that dark brown covers every single brown and orange and blending it through. Guys, I was super duper extra, extra confident that I did not miss anything. I was not stingy with the dye. I had enough boxes and I was pretty happy. And as you can see, that's that top section. Everything looks dark and nice and saturated. It is now ready to process. I'm gonna leave this alone. Yay! <laughs> Grala, you made it through. I'm gonna leave this alone for mm, 30, 40 minutes. You don't wanna fry it, so the longer is not the better. Follow the directions on the box, this is 20, but I'm gonna do 30, 40, okay? And after 30, 40 minutes, I'm going to wash it out. I'm gonna remove all the foil, every single piece. You probably remember this clip from my Phuket vlog of the Nicki Minaj <laughs> rushing sound. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna wash it out. And just to save your time, yes, I use shampoo. Again, I didn't use the purple one, no. I just use regular Tresemme shampoo to get all that 
die out. You want it all out. You want it rinsed clear. But look at that. This is exactly how your hair should look. Now, big tip that you need to hear. When you wash it, it's going to look gray. It's going to look like Timberwolf. You're going to be like, ah, Sophia, what did you direct me to do now? It's not going to be giving blonde, heavenly, beautiful. On top of that, it is box dye, so it needs to oxidize. It needs to process when dry. So as you can see, I'm already seeing highlights. I'm so excited. Look how pretty that looks. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see your hair. But anyway, yes, wash it out. It's going to look gray and crazy. I'm black and gray and crazy. Okay, but I promise you once you dry it and you put like flat iron or curling iron or crimp it, whatever you choose to do, it's going to look beautiful. And my favorite thing about my method, my Sophiology Ash Blonde, is it gets better with age, baby. Just like your fine babe. The longer you have this wig, the better it will look. Maybe one year, two years, you can touch it up. But honestly, it just gets prettier and prettier and the highlights come out more and more, believe me. The beginning is the ugliest, I promise. It just gets better and better. But yes, my bundles are dyed, my wig is dyed. I'm just rinsing everything out here. And when it dries, this is exactly how it looked like in the morning. Look at those highlights and lowlights. It came out perfect. Wow, mm, so beautiful. The next thing now is to get it installed. Wow, it's about to eat, she's about to eat. I hit up my girl Luxury, here's her Instagram. Stop what you're doing right now and go and follow her page because I hear there's a giveaway happening soon. Me and her are teaming up to bless a fine babe in this Houston, Texas. That's me on her page, by the way. She slays. I don't wanna give too much away because I want the giveaway to be fair, but just know if you found us through this video, then you have a head start. We always have a blast. She's such a sweet soul, so professional, so good at her job and she just has blessed hands. Oh, such a pretty girl. <laughs> but yes, we are doing a giveaway very soon. So just keep a lookout for that on Instagram. Make sure you're following her because it will be through her page. But yes, this is the final look. She did an amazing job on the install. I did an amazing job on the color. The hair is to be announced because I'm working on it. Hint, hint. So many good things happening this year. Super proud of you. Give yourself a round of applause for completing this process. I cannot wait to see your look and I will see you guys in my next video.